Happy Thursday, everyone. It's September 8th, 2022, and it is time for take two. This is where I get two cards, two tarot cards for our daily message for wisdom, guidance, support, uh, just a heads up of what's going to happen today, the energy of the day, and to know how to handle it. So today I'm going to be using the um, traditional Rider Waite tarot, and we're going to go ahead and get into the message and see what's uh, what we can expect, what's going to happen. You know, because sometimes we overthink, um, we get into our heads too much or we worry. So let's just see what's what can be expected. Let's see what's going on today. I hope everybody's doing well. I thank you for your support. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I got a few a couple of new subscribers this week. My dog keeps moving. I don't want it to fall over. Um, um, so I appreciate that. So you know, I'm trying my best, you know, to try to fit everything in. I want to try to expand and do more content on here, but I am still um, working full time. So, you know, and have a home to take care of. And, oh, you know, all the normal um, two of pentacles, you know, prioritizing, shuffling things around. So um, I'm sure you guys can understand that. But let's go ahead and get into our message. So spirit and universe, what is our message for today? What can we expect? What wisdom can you give us? Can you give us a heads up about the energy for today? So let's see what's happening. What's happening for today? Two cards, please. Two cards. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. So again, with that continuing of that open-heartedness, that compassion, um, sometimes that can be very difficult, especially if we're going through our own stuff or people want to uh, push our buttons, right? Or they just have a different way of being. Sometimes that can be very challenging, right? So let's see what else is coming up for us. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. So that's the interesting thing. We have to come from a place of loving over ourselves first and foremost. That's the bottom line. We have to be able to love ourselves um, and not be so critical and hard on ourselves. Accept ourselves for who we are. Be our authentic selves. With that, also being able to be compassionate and loving and open-hearted to other people, right? So, how do we do that? Sometimes that can be the challenge, right? Because we have to set up healthy boundaries for ourselves, as well as being supportive and non-judgmental to other people. So, that's the key. When we can get to that, then we can be our authentic self, we can attract in that abundance. You know, we have to be able to get rid of all the judgments, all the, um, criticizing, all the looking down, all the uh, um, pushing our opinions on other people, as well as, you know, loving ourselves and not being so critical. But with that being said, we also have to accept those um, shadows, that little negativity of ourselves as well. So it's coming from that place of being loving and generous and kind and compassionate to all aspects, including the shadows, but being able to set healthy boundaries because as you know, we all have shadows, we all have our um, insecurities, our faults, the things that we've went through, our triggers, right? But we have to come from that place of being able to see those things and willing to work on those things, you know, not denying them, not stuffing them down, not criticizing, but being able to work on those things as well as being able to um, decipher like who is authentic who is actually trying to change and they're having triggers or people that just don't want to change at all right so then that's where we set up the healthy boundaries because basically bottom line we're all responsible for our own behaviors the own, own way of seeing things our own actions so that's the thing today so today again you might be triggered like i said on monday or tuesday um you know there's things that come up that trigger us that we want to lash out it's time to um, come from that compassion be understanding as well as being able to set healthy boundaries and respecting ourselves and loving ourselves as well, right? Demanding that respect that we deserve, right? But also seeing our flaws and faults. So that's our uh, challenge or situation for today. Coming from that place of loving ourselves, but realizing that we are responsible for our own actions and behaviors and keeping that under control as well as being compassionate and understanding for people that we might not see eye to eye with right so that is your your um energy today okay and kind of basically it's an energy for all all days but today this is going to be uh front and foremost 
So something might be happening with that. So it's coming from that place of loving yourself as well as being compassionate for everyone. We're all one, right? We all have different experiences, but we all come from the same source. So that is your message for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Oh, and be on the lookout. Um, once I get off tonight, I'm going to try to hit the gym. I'm really trying to push myself. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's really challenging. But um, after that, I do want to try to get out some more videos, you know, um, for the full moon that's coming up on the 10th. So, you know, that's something else. If you can try to squeeze in, try to work on, you know, what you're letting go of. You know, if there's anything that's keeping you from this loving yourself or being compassionate. Um, you know, really examine what that is and work on that um, for this full moon to be able to let go, right? To let go and release so you be can become that um, next level of version of yourself, right? So that is your message for today. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and be safe. Take care. Bye.